Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Did you know that Muslim Americans are among the most patriotic, peace-loving, and tolerant religious groups in the United States? If that surprises you, you're not alone. Popular stereotypes and media narratives often paint a very different picture. But the reality of Muslim American life and values tells a fascinating story that challenges many common assumptions. From their strong sense of national pride to their firm stance against violence, from their incredible diversity to their success in education and careers, Muslim Americans are weaving a rich and complex tapestry into the fabric of American society. Their experiences and perspectives offer valuable insights that can bridge divides, foster understanding, and strengthen our nation's commitment to pluralism and equality. Let's dive into some eye-opening facts about Muslim Americans that may change the way you think about this vibrant and often misunderstood community. 1. The vast majority of Muslims are proud to be Americans. You know, there's this idea out there that Muslims in America aren't as patriotic or as integrated into our society as other groups. But that's just not true. In fact, it's pretty amazing. 92% of American Muslims say they're proud to call themselves Americans. That's huge, and it really tells you a lot about what it means to be a Muslim American. Now, why are Muslim Americans so proud to be American? Well, there are a few reasons. First off, we've got religious freedom here. The Constitution protects that so Muslims can practice their faith openly without worrying about the government coming after them. Then there's the economic side of things. A lot of Muslim immigrants come here looking for better opportunities and many of them find success in all sorts of fields. Education is another big factor. We've got great schools at all levels, and that's something that's really valued in a lot of Muslim cultures. And let's not forget about our cultural diversity. America's like this big melting pot, right? It lets Muslims keep their cultural identities while also embracing American values. You've also got a lot of Muslim Americans getting involved in civic life, voting, doing community service, even running for office. And when you look at second and third generation Muslim Americans, they often feel deeply rooted in American culture. There's also this interesting overlap between Islamic values and traditional American values. Things like charity, family, community service, these are important in both cultures. Now it's important to understand that being proud to be American doesn't mean these folks are any less Muslim. Actually, Many Muslim Americans see their religious beliefs as totally compatible with American ideals like freedom, democracy, and pluralism. What's really inspiring is that even though Muslim Americans face discrimination and challenges, most of them still have this positive outlook on their place in American society. They see themselves as an important part of the American fabric, helping to shape our country's future. This kind of information is really powerful, you know. It helps counter these narratives that try to paint Muslims as somehow un-American or a threat to American values. The reality is, Muslim Americans have integrated into our society successfully, just like many other immigrant groups throughout our history. They're keeping their unique cultural and religious identities while also becoming an integral part of what makes America, well, America. 2. Muslim Americans oppose violence more than any other religious group. You know, there's this really harmful stereotype out there that links Muslims with violence and terrorism. But here's the thing, it's completely off base. In fact, the majority of Muslims are totally against any kind of military attacks on civilians. They see it as completely indefensible. And get this, Muslim Americans are even more strongly opposed to it than other religious groups in the US. Let me break it down for you. The stats show that somewhere between 43 to 64% of other religious groups, we're talking Protestants, Catholics, Jews, Mormons, even atheists, thought that in some cases, military attacks on civilians might be justifiable. But Muslims, they were like, nope, not under any circumstances. Now this isn't just a cultural thing, it's rooted in their religion. Islam puts a big emphasis on the sanctity of human life and has strict rules against killing innocent people. So this opposition to violence, it's baked right into their beliefs. But here's the frustrating part. You wouldn't know any of this from watching the news. The media keeps portraying Muslims as these violent people, which is just so far from the truth. It's creating this huge disconnect between what Muslim Americans actually believe and what the public thinks about them. 
And let me tell you those stereotypes, they're doing real damage. A lot of Muslim Americans have seen the ugly side of violence and terrorism themselves, either firsthand or through people they know. That just makes them even more determined to stand against it. And it's not just individuals. Whole Muslim American communities are out there actively working on anti-violence initiatives and talking with other faith groups to promote peace. Here's something else that might surprise you. Even though many Muslim Americans have issues with some U.S. foreign policies, they're still firmly against violence. They can disagree with the government without resorting to violent actions. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. And get this, many Muslim Americans are actually working with law enforcement to prevent extremism in their own communities. They're putting their money where their mouth is when it comes to opposing violence. Why is all this important? Well, for starters, it busts that myth wide open about Muslims being violent. It shows that Muslim Americans are just as committed to peace as anyone else, maybe even more so. It also shows we need to do a way better job of representing Muslim Americans accurately in the media and in our public conversations. Bottom line is, understanding the truth about Muslim Americans can help us build a more inclusive society. It can help reduce discrimination based on fear and promote better understanding between all of us. And in my book, that's something we should all be working towards. Three, Muslims in the U.S. are ethnically, culturally, religiously, and politically diverse. You know, there's this idea out there that all Muslims in America are the same, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The Muslim American community is incredibly diverse, and I mean in so many ways. Let's start with ethnicity. Back in 2007, get this, about 88% of Muslim Americans weren't even Arab. At least a quarter were African American. And then you've got folks from all over, South Asians, Southeast Asians, Europeans, Africans, you name it. Some of this comes from immigration, sure, but there are also plenty of native-born Americans who've converted to Islam. And culture? Man, it's like a whole world in itself. Because you've got all these different ethnic backgrounds, you end up with this amazing mix of traditions, the customs, the languages, the food. It's all over the map. I mean, think about it. A Muslim with Somali roots is going to have totally different cultural practices than one with Indonesian heritage. Now, when it comes to religion, it's not just one size fits all either. You've got your two main branches, Sunni and Shiite. But even within those, people practice their faith in all sorts of different ways. Some folks interpret Islamic law strictly. Others are more relaxed about it. You've got your super devout Muslims and then those who are more secular. It's a whole spectrum. Politics is another area where you see a lot of variety. As of 2014, yeah, most Muslim Americans leaned Democrat, about 62%. But you had 17% leaning Republican and 21% who didn't lean either way. And hey, those numbers could be different now. Political views aren't set in stone, you know. Oh, and let's not forget about the generational differences. First-generation immigrants often see things differently than second- or third-generation Muslim Americans who were born and raised here. Why does all this matter? Well, for one, it blows that stereotype of Muslims being all the same right out of the water. It shows just how complex Muslim American identity really is. And when we're talking about policies that affect Muslim Americans, we need to remember this diversity and not take a one-size-fits-all approach. Bottom line is, Muslim Americans are just as diverse as any other group in America. They're part of the big, colorful tapestry that makes up our country. And if we want to really understand and appreciate Muslim Americans, we've got to recognize all the different ways they contribute to our society. It's not just one thing. It's a whole range of experiences and perspectives that make our country richer. 4. Muslim views align with those of both liberal and conservative Americans. You know there's this idea out there that all Muslim Americans think the same way politically, but that's just not true. It's way more complicated than that. And honestly, pretty interesting when you dig into it. Here's the thing. Muslim Americans don't just pick a side, liberal or conservative, and stick with it. They tend to look at each issue separately and form their own opinions. It's not about being on a team. It's about what they think is right for each specific topic. So. On some issues, you might find Muslim Americans agreeing more with conservative viewpoints. 
like they might lean towards traditional family values or be big on personal responsibility. A lot of them are really into protecting religious freedom, including in public spaces. And many support policies that help small businesses. But then on other issues, they might be more in line with liberal ideas. Many Muslim Americans are all for social welfare programs, they support immigrant rights, and they're against racial profiling. A lot of them care about protecting the environment too, and prefer diplomacy and foreign policy. Now, it's super important to remember that not all Muslim Americans think the same way. Just like any group, there's a ton of diversity in their views. And these views aren't set in stone either. They change over time as society changes. Another interesting thing is how a person's background can influence their political views. It's not just about being Muslim. It's also about their race, ethnicity, whether they're immigrants or not, and their economic situation. All of these factors play a role. Some Muslim Americans might prioritize certain issues over others when they're making political decisions, like they might care more about foreign policy or civil rights than other topics. This can lead to some pretty complex political affiliations. You know, when you look at it this way, you start to see how the two-party system we have in the U.S. doesn't always capture the full range of perspectives in minority communities like Muslim Americans. But here's a cool thing, because Muslim Americans often have views that overlap with both liberal and conservative ideas, they could potentially play a role in bridging some of our political divides. That's pretty exciting to think about. The media often misses all this complexity, though. They tend to oversimplify Muslim American political views, which is a shame because there's so much more to it. Understanding all of this is really important. It shows that the simple stories we often hear about Muslim American political views just don't cut it. It means politicians and policymakers need to engage with Muslim American communities on specific issues, not just make broad assumptions. And it demonstrates that Muslim Americans, like other Americans, are thinking critically about political issues, not just following a party line. In the end, this understanding could lead to more inclusive and effective political engagement with Muslim American communities, and it could help us represent their diverse viewpoints more accurately in our public discussions. That's something we should all be interested in, don't you think? 5. Muslim women are often highly educated, highly compensated leaders. You know, there's this really widespread idea that Muslim women are all oppressed, uneducated, and just stuck at home. But let me tell you, that's so far from the truth, especially when you look at Muslim women in America. First off, let's talk about education. Back in 2009, Muslim American women were actually more educated than your average American woman, and even more than Muslim women in Europe. That's huge. It shows that Muslim families here really value education for their daughters. And these women are taking full advantage of the opportunities they have in the US, which let's be honest, might not be available in some other countries. Now, when it comes to their careers, Muslim American women are killing it. We're talking about highly paid professionals here. They're not just in the workforce, they're often in leadership positions, making big decisions and having real influence. And get this, the wage gap between Muslim men and women in America is actually smaller than what you see in other religious groups. That's pretty remarkable, right? It suggests that within the Muslim American community, there's a real push for fair treatment when it comes to pay. Here's another thing that might surprise you. 92% of Muslims in the U.S. are totally fine with women working outside the home. That's a huge majority. It shows that the Muslim American community is really supportive of women pursuing their careers. But it's not just about having jobs. Muslim American women are out there as leaders, scholars, and activists. They're fighting for equity and social justice, not just for themselves, but for everyone. They're really making a difference. All of this just blows that old stereotype out of the water. You know, the one that says Islam oppresses women or limits their opportunities. These women are educated, empowered, and successful. They're showing that you can be a devoted Muslim and still be a modern, progressive professional. Now, I gotta say, not every Muslim American woman has the same experience or opportunities. There's a lot of diversity within the community, but the overall trend is really positive and these successful women are great role models, not just for other Muslim girls, but for all Americans. 
They're showing what diversity and leadership really looks like. Why does all this matter? Well, for one, it challenges these deep-rooted stereotypes we have in the West about Muslim women. It shows how much Muslim women contribute to American society in all sorts of fields. It demonstrates that Muslim American communities can be really progressive when it comes to women's rights and opportunities. And you know what? It provides a counter-narrative to all that political talk about Muslim women being oppressed or needing to be saved. It shows why it's so important to look at real data and individual experiences instead of just believing generalizations or what we see in the media. Understanding all this about Muslim American women can help us create a more inclusive society. It can lead to better representation in the media, more informed policy discussions, and hopefully less discrimination. And that's something we should all be working towards, don't you think? Six, Muslims are among the most tolerant of all religious groups in America. You know, there's this idea out there that Muslims are all intolerant and just want to keep to themselves. But man, that couldn't be further from the truth, especially when you look at Muslim Americans. Let me break it down for you. First off, we're talking about some seriously high levels of religious tolerance here. Back in 2011, a whopping 92% of Muslim Americans said they were cool with other faiths. That's not just tolerant, that's putting them right at the top of the most tolerant religious groups in America. And get this, they're holding on to this tolerance while still being committed to their own faith. It just goes to show, you can be devoted to your own beliefs without hating on others. Now here's something that might surprise you. Most Muslim Americans are totally fine with the idea of Muslims marrying non-Muslims. That's a big deal, right? It shows they're really open to mixing with other groups and accepting religious diversity. And it's not just about marriage. Even more Muslim Americans say they have close friends who aren't Muslim. So we're talking about people who are really integrated into American society with all kinds of different folks in their social circles. All this tolerance isn't just talk either. It probably means they're big supporters of religious freedom for everyone, not just Muslims. And they're likely to be into interfaith dialogue and working together with other religious groups. This whole picture just blows that old stereotype of the intolerant Muslim right out of the water. Instead, we're seeing Muslim Americans as these open-minded, accepting people who are totally on board with America's whole pluralistic society thing. You know, this kind of tolerance actually has a long history in Islam. There have been plenty of Muslim-majority societies throughout history where different religions coexisted pretty peacefully. Now, why are Muslim Americans so tolerant? Well, maybe it's because they know what it's like to be a religious minority, so they're more understanding of other minorities. Or it could be because the Muslim American community itself is so diverse. And of course, living in America with all its emphasis on religious freedom probably reinforces these tolerant attitudes. The cool thing is, all this tolerance from Muslim Americans can really help bring people together and improve understanding between different faith groups in our society. But here's the kicker. Even though Muslim Americans are so accepting of others, they still face a lot of Islamophobia and discrimination. It's a real contrast, isn't it? Why does all this matter? Well, it totally challenges these stereotypes about Muslims being intolerant or not wanting to fit in. It shows that Muslim Americans could actually be great at building bridges between different religious groups. It proves that they're on board with this core American value of religious pluralism. And it shows that all these fears about Muslims not fitting into American society are pretty much baseless. Understanding all this about Muslim Americans can really help fight against Islamophobia. It can lead to more inclusive policies and better relationships between different faith groups. And it just goes to show how important it is to look beyond stereotypes and really understand what different communities are actually like. Don't you think that's something we should all be doing more of? As we wrap up this eye-opening journey into the world of Muslim Americans, I hope you've gained some valuable insights that challenge common stereotypes and misconceptions. From their strong patriotism and opposition to violence, to their incredible diversity and progressive views, Muslim Americans are truly integral to the vibrant tapestry of our nation. Remember, understanding and embracing our differences makes us stronger as a society. By learning about each other, we can build bridges foster tolerance, and create a more inclusive America for all. If you found this information enlightening 
and want to learn more about diverse communities in America, be sure to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll be part of a community dedicated to breaking down barriers and promoting understanding. Don't forget to leave a comment sharing your thoughts or experiences. Your perspective matters and can help further this important conversation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.